I've spent so long thinking about this moment, and now it's almost here. Yup, it's happening, and we're a part of it. I know the whole team came together and made it happen. I'm so excited and hungry. Yeah, I feel the same way. We couldn't have gotten here without that hunger, that desire to explore. You know, you're right. I hadn't thought of it that way. It really is uncharted territory. It sure is. We're going to experience Ten an different actual flavors space of flight Sophie's around barbecue. the moon! What? Wait, were you talking about the LEGO Space Team barbecue this whole time? Um, no, maybe <laughs> you were obviously talking about the upcoming launch of Artemis 1 and the fact that we get to take the flight, which makes a lot more sense and is slightly more exciting. In my defense, I skipped breakfast, so, you know, pretty hungry. <laughs> but that being said, I am over the moon about the Artemis launch, and I can't believe we're going to be on board. See what I did there? <laughs> no? Right. Anyway... It's been 10 weeks of total awesomeness. We've met so many cool people and learned about the different jobs, skills, and roles that make a space mission possible. We even got to take on some amazing hands-on training missions. So what is next? Great idea, Kyle. We should definitely talk about what's next. You mean Artemis 2 and 3, right? Um, yes, that's exactly what I meant. Artemis 2, 3, and beyond. So. Yes, Artemis 2 will build on the learnings from Artemis 1 and will send four astronauts to the moon for the first time in more than 50 years. The astronauts will orbit the moon going 4,600 miles beyond its far side. That's deeper into space than any human has gone before. That's right. And NASA will use the learnings from Artemis 2 to prepare for putting the first woman and person of color on the moon. They'll land on the moon's south pole, where no human has ever been. And with the help of a new lunar space station called Gateway, we'll be able to sustain a presence at the moon to study and plan for the exploration of Mars. Oh man, a lunar space station that lets us send human expeditions to the moon for years to come? That is so cool! I wish there was a way we could show you. You mean if I was to say... No, no. Roll that awesome clip about Gateway, please. With Artemis, NASA will send the first woman and the first person of color to the moon. We are going there for the benefit of all here. We'll need a place to orbit around the moon, where we can live and work, a place where to get ready for our lunar surface expeditions, and a place to return to when our work on the lunar surface is complete. We need a lunar home away from home. This will be the Gateway. Starting with the power and habitation modules, the Gateway will be the first long-term outpost in lunar orbit humans have ever had. Prime for new discoveries, this orbiting laboratory will provide us with a unique view of our solar system. And it's already becoming a beacon for the future of international and commercial cooperation in space. With increasing capability and longer missions over time, the Gateway will be a powerhouse of technology and science, paving the way for future human missions to Mars. Design and fabrication of gateway elements by NASA and our international partners is well underway around the world right now. How cool is that? A home away from home at the moon! Did you find a teleporter at NASA or some kind of space remote? Kyle, we are <clears throat> live. Ah, right. We are in the final stages of preparing for the launch of Artemis 1. And soon, tens of thousands of people will be lining up at Kennedy Space Center and the surrounding area to watch the SLS and Orion blast off. Speaking of watching, we should do one last check-in with our friend Dr. Jenny. I heard she's got some cool pictures and video of student creations for us to watch. Let me guess. You're going to say her name and she's going to appear out of nowhere. I will figure out how you do this. Hey, Dr. Jenny. How's it going? Any chance you can show us some of the cool creations our friends watching have come up with? Hi, everyone. Can you believe it? You made it to week 10. Great job. All of your training missions have been completed. Awesome. And now all that's left is to get ready for launch. And you're going to be on board for Orion's first flight. Wow. You've really come a long way in a short amount of time and so have all our friends at home. I hope this adventure has helped all of you see how exciting it can be to learn, especially with a subject as cool as space exploration. 
You have done such amazing work over the last 10 weeks. But let's pause to look at your most recent creations. Throughout this series, you've built a great toolbox of skills to get you started. And each week I've seen you add to that toolbox, learning about teamwork, communication, and even how to build, test, and rebuild when you're trying to solve a problem. It's been so much fun to follow you along the way and see you using these new tools as your missions progress. I hope we get to see each other again real soon. And Kate, Kyle, Good luck on your first space flight. I'll be here cheering you on on launch day. Aw, thanks, Dr. Jenny. Well, we had a blast over the last 10 weeks, and I can't believe this part of our training okay. is- Okay, Kate, are you there? I almost forgot. Hey, Dr. Jenny, we're here. What's up? Whew, I'm glad I caught you. Word got around, and there are a lot of people excited to hear that there's a new generation of space explorers on the way so excited that they sent along some messages for you. Check them out. Hey, LEGO fans. I understand you've been doing a lot of exploring. At NASA, we like to say science never sleeps. So I hope you will keep studying science and math because we need your great ideas and creativity to study our Earth and our universe. Congratulations. Job well done, you did it. 10 weeks of missions and you all have successfully completed them. I couldn't be more proud. And when the Artemis mission kicks off, all of you will be the experts because you've trained so hard for the moment. Congratulations to you and keep up the good work. Students, congratulations on completing your mission. I hear your mission was a great success. Now keep working hard and one day, we'll see you out here on board the Orion spacecraft on the way to the moon or Mars. Congrats, guys. Thanks for being part of the mission. You did a great job, and I can't wait to see what the next mission has in store. Congratulations on completing all of your build to launch training missions. And I, for one, am really excited to work with all of you guys one day here at NASA. Congratulations on making it through the series. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you learned us uh, uh, a lot about how we do things at NASA. Today, I get to work at my dream job, and I got here by pursuing my dreams and reaching for the stars. So I really hope you continue to do that as well. Congratulations and way to go. Hello, I am Julie Bosler, and I am the SLS Core Stage Project Manager. Great work, keep dreaming and keep building. Congratulations from the Exploration Ground Systems team at Kennedy Space Center. We're standing here in front of the Orion spacecraft stacked on the SLS rocket. As we prepare for the launch of Artemis 1, we want to thank all of the students and teachers who participated in the Build to Launch Challenge. We can't do it without you. Great work and keep dreaming and building. Artemis is one of NASA's most ambitious programs yet. Putting the first woman and first person of color on the moon will require a diverse team of people from around the country with many different skills and backgrounds. Never stop imagining our future in space. Hi everyone. Uh, everybody at LEGO Education is so proud of the work you have done. 
you made it look like so much fun that we had to try one of the missions ourselves. We may have gotten a little bit carried away. See for yourself. was awesome! It really has been an amazing adventure. Hey, Kate, what was your favorite thing we learned? For me, it was that space exploration is all about teamwork and the ability of different people with different jobs and skills to come together and make something incredible happen. Hmm, well, that was amazing. I think my favorite thing might have been learning about how everyone came from different backgrounds and followed different paths to these awesome jobs. It's so exciting to know that no matter where you come from, someday you could find yourself driving a crawler, standing in mission control, or maybe even walking on Mars. Yeah, just think of all the future space explorers watching right now from classrooms and living rooms all over the world. Exactly. And whether they want to be an astronaut, build rovers, write software code for spacecrafts, or even launch them, someday, if they work hard and stay curious, they could be standing alongside the people we've met from NASA, helping them build to launch for the next great mission. Hey guys! I just heard they need you to check out some new equipment. They were going to have Zach do it, but apparently the last time he was in the lab, he got barbecue sauce all over Avery's tools. Well, I guess we have to run. I hope you all had as much fun as we did preparing for Artemis 1. You know, I think there's only one way to close out this amazing adventure. How about a little test run of our go for launch poll? Great idea! Hmm, can you do your magic and make Maria magically appear? She can cover for our launch director. Way ahead of you. Maria, do you copy? Hey, Kate. I copy loud and clear. What's up? Kyle and I were thinking we should run a test of our gopher launch poll. What do you say? Oh, yeah. Let's do this. Lego Space Team, this is Flight, with a test run of our gopher launch poll. Do you copy? I copy. Locked and loaded. Ready to roll. Message received safely. Copy. Wow, Kate. I have to say, you're getting more and more impressive with these special appearances. Kyle, it's a video conference. Okay. On that note, starting the test poll. Program? Go. Engineering? Go. Ground systems? Go. Safety? Go. Science objectives? Go. And flight is go. Kate and Kyle, we are go for launch. <laughs> all right. Man, we're really at the end. I'm definitely going to miss all our friends at home. Don't worry, Kyle. I have a feeling that if they keep reaching for the stars, we might be seeing them again before you know it. We're sending astronauts back to the moon. We're going to learn, and then we're going all the way to Mars with astronauts. This huge endeavor takes thousands of people with diverse backgrounds and talents, as well as a passion for exploration. And NASA needs your creative your young minds to move forward on this journey, this mission that we are going to continue. You are the Artemis generation, and we hope you'll come explore with us.